by comfortably laying flat on your back, either spread eagle, arms and legs open wide, or legs closed and arms straight down at your sides, whichever feels more relaxing to you. Close your eyes and clear your mind of any lingering thoughts or concerns from the day. Focus on the background tones and the sound of my voice. If any thoughts cross your consciousness, simply set them aside and return to the pure listening state. When focused fully on listening, meditation arises spontaneously. Listen not only to the words, but to the spaces between the words. Listen intently, and just for now, disallow any new thoughts from entering your mind. up into your awareness, just recognize it and release it as soon as you do. There is no need to follow and ponder every thought that passes by. All those super important thoughts wanting to be thunk will still be around after our meditation, but for now, we are doing something even more important. We are cultivating a type of super consciousness that lies beyond thought. The relentless addiction to thinking is actually our greatest impediment to achieving inner peace. we fast from food, our physical systems get a chance to rest, reset, and heal themselves from the incessant cycle of consumption, digestion, and elimination. Likewise, meditation is fasting from thought, and when we intentionally set aside time every day to fast from thought, our mental and emotional systems get a chance to rest, reset, and heal themselves from the incessant roller coaster of the monkey mind. The more we practice meditation, the more space we create in our consciousness free from mental chatter and freedom from mundane mental chatter cultivates inner peace. Now we are going to perform the Nadi purification breath, or alternate nostril breathing, which along with listening to the binaural audio and isochronic tones in the background, has the effect of balancing brain hemisphere activity, which has been shown to improve sleep, concentration, creativity, memory, and flow state. Also, this breathing exercise, when used in conjunction with daily neti pot salt water cleansing, has helped several of my students completely heal their asthma, apnea, snoring, sinus, and congestion issues. For more about neti pot cleansing, be sure to see the description box link. Begin by pressing
pressing your right thumb against your right nostril just firmly enough so that no air can enter or escape and then fairly forcefully exhale all the air from your lungs out your left nostril. Engage your abdominal muscles and clench them tightly as you squeeze out every last bit of air. Now slowly and deeply inhale into the abdomen through the left nostril while still keeping the right nostril plugged tight. When your lungs are completely full, pause for a moment. Press your right forefinger against your left nostril firmly enough so that no air can enter or escape. And again, fairly forcefully, exhale all the air from your lungs out your right nostril. Engage the abdominals, clenching them tight, squeezing out every last bit. Now slowly and deeply inhale into your belly through the right nostril while still keeping the left nostril plugged tight. When your lungs are full, pause for a moment and the first cycle is complete. Now continue on by pressing your right thumb against your right nostril and again exhaling all the air from your lungs out your left nostril. Engage your abdominal muscles and clench them tight as you squeeze out every last bit of air. Now slowly and deeply inhale into the abdomen through the left nostril. When your lungs are full, pause for a moment. Press your right forefinger against your left nostril and exhale all the air from your lungs out your right nostril, always remembering to engage the abdominals, clenching them tight, squeezing out every last bit, and then slowly and deeply inhale into your belly through the right nostril while keeping the left nostril plugged tight. When your lungs are full, pause for a moment and the second cycle is complete. Now continue on. Alternate nostril breathing like this in your own time. You may need to use a tissue occasionally to clear any mucus after exhalation. It is a good idea also to switch hands halfway through your practice using your left thumb and forefinger instead while your right arm rests. As you continue practicing, work towards slowing down and deepening the inhalation, exhalation, and the pauses between them. Over time, the breaths should naturally and progressively get slower and deeper, and the pauses between inhalation and exhalation should effortlessly get longer and easier. Focus single-mindedly on the action of the breath happening in the present moment. Feel the sensation of the air passing your nose, the expansion and contraction of lungs and chest, the abdominal muscles squeezing. When you are focused intently on the physical action of breathing, for as long as that focus remains, no thoughts will be had. They will inevitably come back, of course, probably within a few seconds, actually. But each time you notice yourself trailing off, following some thought that bubbled up into your consciousness, simply set it aside as easily as it came and return your focus single-mindedly to the breathwork.
hands are powerful tools, but any tool that cannot be shut off becomes more of a problem, an annoyance, and an impediment than something beneficial and useful. Imagine a screwdriver power tool with no off button. Whenever there is a screw around that needs turning, the screwdriver is handy. But what about the other 23 plus hours a day when there's no need for a screwdriver? If your power tool has no off button and just sits around turning its gears all day, the constant noise will become annoying and unbearable and the battery and other parts will soon burn out. Rather than improving their power tools by adding an off button, most people simply accept their second-rate screwdrivers, convince themselves the constant noise is necessary, and slowly slip further and further into states of subconsciousness. Setting aside time to meditate, time to do nothing at all, besides doing nothing at all, eventually creates a reliable off button for our minds. finally turn our power tools on and off at will, it is a huge, holistic upgrade, well worth the effort. Now let's finish our alternate nostril breathing with one final exhale, a short pause, and now with both arms back at your sides, and both nostrils wide open, take a long, slow, deep breath in through the nose, pause for a moment, and a long, slow exhale out the mouth. Take another long, slow, deep breath in through the nose, Pause, holding it in for a couple seconds, and slowly exhale out the mouth. And now return yourself to a natural, normal breathing pattern. Inhaling and exhaling through the nose, and not trying to modify it in any way by making it longer, deeper, or slower than comes automatically. Meditation is mental stillness, and incessant thinking is mental illness. We cannot entirely stop thinking, even during meditation, just like we cannot stay entirely still, even while laying here. The perpetual physical motion of our breathing is intrinsically tied to the perpetual motion of our minds. And since we cannot completely stop either, practicing intentional focus on the breath gives us a natural mode for meditation. With continued practice, the spaces between breaths start becoming longer and longer while the spaces between thoughts 
also start becoming longer and longer. When thoughts do arise, they become less urgent, less intrusive, and easier to set aside. Take notice again of your natural breathing. Are you breathing deep down into your abdominals or shallow up in your chest? Is there a balanced, steady ebb and flow or occasional erratic or belabored breaths? Next, we are going to practice deep diaphragmatic breathing, which is greatly healing in relieving and reducing stress, anxiety, anger, and other emotional traumas. Slowly exhale your current breath out your mouth, engaging your abdominal muscles and clenching them tightly as you squeeze out every last bit of air. Pause for just a second and slowly inhale through your nose, a long breath deep into the abdominals, bulging your belly out like you are stuffed full after a big meal. Pause again for just a second, and again slowly exhale out the mouth, engaging the abdominals, clenching them tightly, and pushing out all the carbon dioxide from the lungs. As you continue, the breaths should progressively get slower and deeper, and the pauses between inhalation and exhalation should naturally get longer and easier. Focus completely and single-mindedly on these four parts of breathing. Inhalation, inhalation retention, exhalation. X. 
exhale through the mouth for six, five, four, three, two, one. Pause. Inhale again for four, three, two, one. Pause. And exhale for six, five. Back to the breath and away from the mental chatter. <laughs> 